guys, just to be here to do a daily word. As a matter of fact, the fact of the matter is the fact matters. And sometimes those facts make it difficult to find hope through difficult days, months, and even years. Relationships crumble. Losses compound after a job evaporates. An act of God brings ungodly destruction and prognosis doesn't work, look good. Credit limits max out of control. Situations take control of thoughts and emotions. Anxiety, discouragement, and anger, and hope often overwhelm us. But we can have hope. Possibly we can find it here. Yes. I sure hope so, that we find that kind of hope that only God can give us, that God created everything, God directed this world to be made. God's strong hope can bring clarity to your picture. These words are sometimes hard to reach, but much less believe. Your hurts, your struggles, heartaches and questions, doubts and fears, are real and justified. You may even worry about your faith. But please know your feelings are not indictment to your faith. Instead, they simply prove you're a human being striving to preserve in a world of broken sin. While the harsh reality of your, your present problems may stare you down, the reality of hope in and through Jesus Christ will always stand its ground. The giver of hope urges you to turn your eyes to him. He gives you his word of hope. And he says, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by my name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. And that's in Isaiah 43, 1 through 3. Remember that. Do not fear. He has redeemed you. Okay? So remember, He gives you His word of hope. Okay? So take that with you today. And may you have a blessed day or night, whatever time it is, wherever you're at. Remember, keep up the faith.